Okay, let's go in this old mine. No fooling around. Underground we go. Ten seconds into the video and we're in. Can't beat that for service. Come in. Hey, look at there's some rail coming out of there. Tumbleweeds made it in. There's a big shaft straight above this. So I wouldn't be surprised if this intersects that shaft. There's some hanging apparatus for the ventilation, water lines, whatever else. You hear something? Yeah. Julie has really good ears. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. Oh boy. A wind door maybe. This is losing ground. <laughs> this takes just a short look over here. Hmm. Well let's go right. There's a pretty good sized stoke below us looks like. Let's take the right, go through the door. Just a plywood door. Julie bonked her head on the on the uh, header. And a good egg size anchor. Here's some red material. Well, you had some heavy duty anchors in here. If that's just for hanging vent line. Uh oh, a ladder. Looks like a pretty big stope down below us, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh boy, what do we have here? Wow, a big claystrum or something here. It smells like... Oh, it's creosote, isn't it? I was going to say I slightly smell the oil. But it's creosote because these are uh, railroad ties repurposed. You can see where the track plate was. Um, there's kind of a makeshift chute. They've put everything on there that they had laying around. Oh, there's a, this is kind of a, this was a hoist, wasn't it? What's this? There was a hoist of some sort sitting here. Where they're hoisting from, I don't know. Oh, right here. here. Oh, yeah, this is, this is caved in. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's not really caved in, it's covered over, and then there's been a lot of stuff falling on top of it. That's kind of interesting. Is this the end of the road? Oh, look, it's straight above me. Oh, well, that's been burned. Right here. Hmm. Look at how thick these. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Like eight by eights at least, bolted together with big clamp style bolt. Look at this. Well, that must have been to take the place of that one. Mm -hmm. That's broken. And a big U, U style saddle bolt made out of rebar or hanger. Uh, this looks like it used to go through here. But not anymore. Might go around the edge here though, I don't know. No, it doesn't. Interesting vein though.
So here's the other half of this big bracing for the hoist room area. Some stuff has come down. This is kind of an unstable area apparently. And then this was the the hoist was behind me and this was the the winds they were hauling stuff up. can't really see too far. It looks like maybe a level. There's a ladder right here. We could try it. It looked like it went into a pretty large stope to me. For a second, and otherwise, I'll come down. Well, Julie's coming down the next ladder, or this ladder. There is also a next ladder. So she found this one, so she can't blame me. Oh. Yeah, careful. They're not all even. She found this particular mine, so she can't blame me that we're climbing ladders. Even though she's ready to go home. Big one. Okay, when you're down here, there's a room. Not much to the left as you're going down the ladder. To the right is this platform above. The platform below. Here's that shaft that we were just at the top of where there, there was a hoist room. Um, this area, I'm not sure what the wood at the end is for. came from kind of I don't know what's on the other side of this wall here anyway this is all pretty sketchy some of it has come down from above I think this is looking down the shaft there's a small ladder here only about eight feet that's scary I'm not sure where that came from Well, I'm just going to take this little ladder and see what happens. There was that real deep vertical shaft that this edit went right underneath. But I haven't seen it yet. Because we'd be able to see the sky. comes Julie. She's crazier than I am. She wants to keep going. Now just kind of hang there and get your bearings because you're on kind of a sketchy bridge. Oh my god. There's another little ladder right here. And then I don't know what goes on after this. It, this one's mounted pretty good. There's a big air water line down below me here. It looks like it's the end of this little uh, Winds though.
It just never turns into a level, does it? No. It's like that's the end of the... That's the end of this... No, well, it's not the end of the workings, but it's the end of this, the shaft. Four ladders. And it looks like there might be a drift over that way. These little short ladders aren't too scary. We're kind of on sketchy uh, bracing though. Don't push the timbers out. Okay, she's coming this way. There's another little ladder here, a couple more. It looks like there could be a little drift over here. I'm not sure though. There's one ladder here and then an aluminum one down there. So let's go down two more little ladders and we'll see what happens. Alright, here comes Julie. Last little ladders for us, then we're going to go up because this is too sketchy. Now Julie, when you get down a little bit, that ladder wants to pull back. Mm -hmm. So don't be alarmed if it pulls back a little bit. Just okay. keep your weight on the ladder forward. And then this aluminum one's missing a rung. You can do it though. Step in the first rung that you can see there. Yeah. There you go. Now this way is over towards the shaft. I'm not going to ding around in here too much more because this is pretty sketchy. Some ancient square sets. See, there must be a timbered shaft over there. I don't quite get it. Here's an old spool. Might say something on it. Or not. There's some boxes in there too, but... Yeah, I'm not going over there. Oh my god, it goes straight down here. It goes straight down there about, jeez, I don't know, like 75 feet. I don't think we're going to find the bottom of this thing. There's a... Uh, Water line and a valve and some flexible vent line. This is the end of that skip track that we were seeing from the very top. And it's got a little bit of a level that goes this way. Look at this old um, old rail going straight down. Wow. That's regular rail. And it came up the same corridor as the newer skip does. That's got to be an old skip track there. Wow. That's crazy mine. A of foxes. Oh yeah, a pair of foxes. Look at that. Alright, let's go this way a little bit. I don't think it's going to be a real long drift. It's going to go a little ways. And Ouch. 
A lot of shale type material in it. Yeah. You want me to go first? Yeah. You know what you're walking on? Yeah. Try not to make any more collapse, obviously. I see timber up there. Where is this? There's a hoist. What? Wow. Why would there be a hoist right on here? Huh. No, I think I can see the face up there. Over a couple more humps. And we better pull out of here. Careful now, just take your time. It's kind of a low back, what's your head? Okay. And, uh, As you clunk your head. As I bunk mine. As you bunk yours. There she comes. We're back up to this area. Oh, the hoist room. They had electricity in here one time. You can see all the insulators. Yep, I think we're gonna go that way. Not good. So, I believe we're back to the door. Uh, did we ever go the other way? No. We didn't? No. Oh boy. Looks like we better do that. We didn't go this way? No. I'm missing four here. There's the portal right there. Yeah, we're missing some floor. No, we were just down there somewhere. Another skip track. Hmm. You'd think we would have been over here to this one. When we were down below, but I don't remember seeing it. Huh. Yeah. The pack rat's got a bunch of uh, prickly pear parts in here. Yeah. That's a lockbox of some type in the... Mm -hmm. Something, a little can. No. Jar? No, it's aluminum part. Oh. So that's some sort of lock box. It's got a, a plywood liner. And uh, the rats have brought some prickly pear parts or cactus parts in there, but geez, I don't know what they would be using that for. Locking something in there. Maybe the gold. Somebody cut it open. Okay. 
Okay, let's see what we have else up here. Got a bunch of stuff up in here, a bunch of vent pipe. Oh, this might, is this that shaft? Yeah, this is that shaft. I saw, the, I saw this from the top. This was a deep shaft as far as I could tell. I still can't see the bottom of it. I don't know where it goes. Down to the bottom of the world. Ouch. Let's go look at the vent pipe over there. To the left. I knew we'd run into that shaft somewhere. There's some very large vent pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what's past the door. Well, that breeze coming up that shaft felt good. room. Alright, now I think we can get out of here.